Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking That's about. That's what we're looking for. One, two, like a couple four, three, four. And right now, I'm thinking two legals. Oh, we got to mark this spot. So what we're going to do, I want to take the first one. I think is legal here. Bring it over. It's yeah, it's bringing the whole thing in the boat. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring the net over. Put them in my palm. And what I'm measuring is the carapace. It's, it's the back plate of the lobster, basically. And it runs from in between these horns to where the tail hinges, right here. Okay. So I'm gonna use my lobster gauge. This part needs to be at least three and a quarter inches. So again, we cut this out of this aluminum, Let's measure three and a quarter. I'm going to bring it right up to here where these horns are. It's a hard spot. And it's really easy to lift that gauge there. And I'm gonna bring it back down. So that one's legal. So this one's legal. If, if I brought the gauge and it, and it showed up here, uh -huh. that would be short. But because we're from this point in, mm -hmm. it's a legal lobster. The carapace is at least three and a quarter inches, and I've confirmed that using the gauge. All right, cool. First legal. Oh, I feel some jiggling. I feel some wiggling. Might be a seal. Might be a big seal. <laughs> A lot of bycatch, you know, through the season you might get a, a stingray, you might get a small swell shark, you might get a small eel. You're mm. certain to get a sculpin. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Look at that. Nice. And a crab. And this is the flipping I'm talking about feeling when you're pulling the hoop net up. That's a nice lobster right there. Yeah. Okay, let's get those in the boat let's real get quick. Those in. Mark that spot. Yeah, might have just been a time of day thing. Uh, nice. This guy should definitely be too you short. Don't need to measure that. And you say you just hold them. Just yes. Put them in your hand and he'll. And he relaxes. Calm down, yeah. All right, and go ahead and let this guy go. This is one of the question marks. And you just put your hand here. Yep. And you put him down. Let him grab it. Yeah, he definitely grabs it. You want to have your scale there? Okay, lobster. Come on, hold on. Hard point. Right between the horns there. Right. In the, there we go. That looks legal to me. Clearly a legal lobster. This guy, there's no question. Nice solid grip on that one, Dan. Nice okay. solid grip. Now, do you it's still put your hand in front of this one? You, 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 could, you could still put your hand uh, here. Uh -huh. You want to be careful as to not get it too close to the mantle in here. This is this is this is where he's chomping, right in there. Okay. So you might you could get your hand here, but as they get bigger, you do want to keep your fingers away from that. Okay. Ben and his family own Promar. And they make nets, they make all kinds of different nets, but these hoop nets is what we're, we're showing today. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a little break from the action here in Santa Monica Bay, and we're going to go to the tackle box, and Ben and I will be giving you a good close-up on the equipment that you need for to go out lobster fishing and be successful like this. This is a nice, big, beautiful lobster. Yeah, Thanks, man. Much. This is good. All right, Dad. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> 